Hello, everyone. My name is Shi Gu. I'm a product marketing uh, marketer here at Snowflake. Uh, and with me today, I'm really glad to have Nikolai. Hi, Shi. Hi. So today we are here to talk about Document AI and uh, the latest great news about Document AI that it is now in GA in all regions for AWS and Azure. This is Snowflake's new capability that extracts information from documents. It is also part of Snowflake's uh, Cortex AI family which is built to help enterprise to continue to unlock new levels of productivity and insights in a way that is efficient, easy, and trust trusted. Um, Snowflake has this unified platform built for model development and governance, and Document AI is built on top of Cortex AI with the reliability and efficiency um, and ease of use in mind. But before we dive into the details of Document AI, uh, Nikolai, let's talk about why did we build this feature uh, in the very first place? Who is this uh, built for? Great question. Document AI specifically is designed to reduce the amount of time needed to work with documents, to make value of those documents, because we know that documents are ever present. Unstructured data is the majority of data around the globe. Every organization has it. And documents are a big chunk of that unstructured data. Being able to take all the value out of that and level set it with already existing structured data is what brings the value to our customer. So we've designed Document AI specifically to make value of documents within, within operational teams, op, uh, automate operational workflows, and reduce manual efforts in dealing with those documents. So let's get into the meat here a little bit more. Um, what exactly uh, is Document AI? Sure. Document AI is actually an end-to-end solution within Snowflake. It itself is split into two different segments. There's a native application within Snowflake that allows business users or those who are aware of their documents, they know what is inside of the documents, they can prepare a model for a particular use case. Let's say there are contracts and they have thousands of contracts. They can use this native application, this UI within Snowflake to upload a sample of those documents and start preparing a model for a particular workflow. Let's say in that same use case for the contracts, you want to uh, process and extract the parties involved in the contracts, the type of contract that this contract is, maybe some other terms like the end date, the start date, termination clauses, indemnification clauses. All these things can be evaluated with this UI very simply, just asking natural languages with the business user. And they can evaluate, they can correct if need, need be, they can train that model if need be. And then they hand it over to the data engineer who can then implement that model in a pipeline. And that pipeline is very, very simple. There's a stage of documents. The model gets pointed at that stage and it processes those documents in bulk or one by one, depending on what that pipeline is designed to do. Well, that sounds great, uh, Nikolai. Uh, can you show us a little bit uh, of that in action actually today? Yeah, absolutely. We have an out of box demo and I'll show it to you right now. In today's demo, I will walk you through Snowflake Document AI and how to use it to process a repository of documents, in this case, contracts. Everything I will show to you is available to you to build yourself through quickstarts.snowflake.com. In this quick start, you will learn in detail how to evaluate and create a document AI model, publish that model and build a pipeline within Snowflake. And finally, how to build a view and streamless application that allows you to manage and validate your contracts and their extractions. Now, let's take a look at the high level components and experience of document AI. First, we have the model build UI, allowing you to prepare your model for the eventual use in production. Here you follow a simple step-by-step -step process in which you upload a subset of documents, define values to be extracted, and then evaluate the results. The evaluation of the model itself occurs in a natural language interface that is very simple to use. Just ask your question, provide the label, and then review the answer. If you're happy with the answer immediately, you can just go ahead and publish the model 
if you see any corrections that need to be made, then make those corrections directly in the results table and train the model with a simple click of a button. Once the model is trained or published, you can then go ahead and utilize these pre-written queries that you can directly copy and paste into worksheets. Do remember that before you start utilizing these queries, you do need your documents to be in an internal or an external stage that is referenceable in this manner. In this particular case, we have a stage with some co-branding contracts. There's about 20 of them that can be processed. The quick start then shows you how to create the entire query where you also flatten the results in a particular way for you to consume a Streamlit application. So in this case, we have every contract that has been processed, their meta information, as well as some scores for every single value that is extracted. With this table in view, you can then create a Streamlit application. The Streamlit application in this particular case is one for validation of the extractions themselves. We can see here of the original 20 documents, three are in need of additional validation. The reviewer can then go ahead and open these contracts one by one and see the reason behind their flagging. In this particular case for this contract, we have three data values that fell below the rule set lo logic of the threshold, and they can review the contracts on the right-hand side without having to go anywhere else and then approve the extraction. This is it for this demo. Thank you so much for listening. Please head over to quickstarts.snowflake.com and start utilizing Document AI today. Thank you. Wow, that's a great demo. Uh, so tell me what happens after uh, this part? Uh, once the model is trained, what's next? Well, the model is trained, and uh, as you saw, you're able to do quite a lot with Document AI already. Once the business user has greenlit a uh, model, and you've run this model against a subset of documents just to try it out, you can now set up an entire pipeline within Snowflake. Document AI plus all of the features within Snowflake allow you to produce an end-to-end -end, uh, intelligent document processing workflow. So now it's all about what is the right fit for you, for your particular needs and your particular needs for the outcome. So whether or not there are some pre-processing steps or po post-processing steps, that's all very simply done with the features that Snowflake provides. So the data engineer now is able to do what they do best and produce the best pipeline possible for this particular use case. Well, that sounds great. Um, since, you know, Document AI has been in Hope for you for a while and it's in GA now, um, Nikolai, I'm sure you talked to many customers already. What are some really interesting use cases and examples you have seen within our customers? All kinds, honestly. This is a, an ever-present challenge within every industry within every vertical uh, that we work with. Whether or not this is healthcare or if it's financial services or if it's manufacturing, everybody has the same challenges. How do I increase the efficiency in handling documents? How do I offload all the manual efforts in my operational teams? That's all that Document AI can do for you. So in regards to specific use cases, uh, there are, of course, very specific ones for uh, for particular verticals, but there are also universal ones. I myself am working with the contracts team here at Snowflake to process contracts, which is a highly universal one. There are also financial statements that can be processed. There's a lot of different use cases. And again, the value of it all is saving a lot of time for those teams, removing errors, uh, human errors, and being able to produce entire workflows, which also include validations, human in the loops. There's a lot of different things that can be done. That's great. Well, uh, we're about time to end this uh, quick little chat, a bit, but within the video uh, in the description below, you will find a link that actually will take you to a quick start that allow you to you know, give a little try yourself with Document AI and see how it works. Um, and with that, I would like to thank you, Nikolai, very much for uh, joining us today. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you.